And y'all remember Haley? You used to travel with me. Does anybody remember her? She has two kids now. One's Emmett and one's Emmylou. And uh, she's just a, she's something else. They, got, <laughs> they sent me a picture last night. I should have showed it to y'all. I think I saw it after we left, actually, and it was her in her new tap shoes dancing on the floor. I said, who needs a floor sander, you know, with that? <laughs> she was, she's three, and, uh, and she acts like she knows what she's doing anyway. We bought her the tap shoes, so I apologize to my son-in-law for that, but uh, my wife says... Um, she loves it. You know, when they come to our house, it's always Mimi's house. It's never Poppy and Mimi's house. It kind of hurts my feelings a little bit, but it's always just Mimi's house. And I said, I had something to do with that. And uh, we're going to Mimi's house, and they love coming to our house. And so Haley, uh, I mean, uh, well, Haley and the kids came over there, but my wife, Rita, she said, um, do you love Mimi? She looked at her and she crawled up in her lap, put her hands on her face like this. She said, Mimi. I love you so much it makes me want to cry happy tears. She said that to her. My wife's going, I mean, it literally took her breath away. She said, how does she know to say something like that? And so that's when you know it's just 100% pure love. That's what it is. So anyway, I like to write songs with, with, about my kids and grandkids. I write other songs, sometimes about <clears throat> happy things, sometimes about sad things, and uh, let's see. Uh, Haley had a big knot. She sang this song in the bleak midwinter. It's one of my favorite things she's ever done. It's on our Christmas record, but anyway, she had this big nodule in her throat when she sang it, and I could see it when she lit her f head up, and you could see this big knot right here. Anyway, she ended up, she had cancer, and they thank God they got it all, but then she had this terrible uh, attack after the operation, and uh, it was just one of the worst times of our lives, but during that week, I had this thing in my, this, I don't know, I, I had to drive to Texas after that, and so... Uh, this thing was just uh, in my head.
Thanks so much. I played that not long ago. Uh, uh, Eric Johnson had uh, asked me to play on his new record, and uh, he had written this song, and I, <laughs> I did all, <laughs> all the high country it up, man. Uh, I said, is that too country? He said, no, it's you. I love it. Love it. Anyway, so we had fun, and uh, and I played that song for him, and I said, I don't even know if this is a song yet. He said, oh, it's a song, and they said, I want you to record that here, and uh, and so I did, and then he said, just uh, give me a few days, and I'll put some stuff, so he put some beautiful, as he calls it, violin guitar, you know. He covered up a lot of my good stuff, but it covered it up real good, <laughs> and uh you should hear it. It's going to be on my, my next album. And uh, so anyway, the, the name of the song, I didn't even have a name. Finally, I sent him the title, and he said, I love it. It's Cuerdas de Luz because it sounds Spanish, you know, which means strings of light. And so uh, anyway, then the good news is Haley's all right, and she has her voice, and, and this amazing thing. So we're just, we're just thankful. But sometimes uh, s- songs come out of bad times and bad you know scary times and then and then sometimes just happy stuff like dancing little emmy lou you know and so and, any questions about anything <clears throat> all right now let me uh, show you my guitar <laughs> It's great for that Chet kind of stuff too, you know.